Writing your apps is challenging enough when you need to bounce between your code editor, your AI agent, and web search. What if you could do a handful of those in the same place so you could stay engaged with your code without switching context? This just in, this month, in partnership with the Gemini CLI team, we ship the Firebase extension for the Gemini CLI. Let's take a look at what the Firebase extension is and how it integrates with the Gemini CLI in this week's Deep Dive. The Gemini CLI is a terminal interface that lets you pass in the context of your code in your request to Gemini. Gemini can take that context and suggest improvements to your code or help you get over that next coding hurdle. You can also use the Firebase extension, which gives additional tooling and capabilities to the Gemini CLI by automatically including all the tools from the Firebase MCP server into it. These include calls to Firestore to examine existing collections, create new Firebase projects, and manage your backend services provided through Firebase. Let's hop into using the Firebase extension in a project so we can see all the features it provides with the Gemini CLI extension. To start, we need to install the Firebase extension for Gemini CLI by using this command. The Gemini CLI will go to the GitHub repository and install the Firebase extension for us. The Firebase extension is primarily based on the existing Firebase MCP server, so we will also need to have Node.js installed in order to use it. Once that is installed, let's jump into a project. First, we'll switch into this chat app that I am in the process of building. We have the basics of the UI down right now, but it doesn't have authentication, a database, or an AI assistant configured. I want to add in all of those features so I can share with my friends to try it out. So we'll use the Gemini CLI with a Firebase extension to build that portion of it. We can use the slash command Firebase init to set up a new Firebase project. In this case, I have a project created in the console, but none of the services I want to use are activated. The Firebase init command will log me into the Firebase CLI and then suggest features to add to my app like backend services or AI logic. It will also come up with an implementation plan for those features and go through and activate those backend features in the Firebase console for me. I rarely need to visit the console or ask for a specific Firebase CLI command to get started. The Gemini CLI now handles all of those setup tasks for me so I can jump into building my app right away. After initializing the backend services, the app now looks like this a sign-in button with my profile picture letting me send chat messages to myself. Pretty boring. So let's add in a better chat feature that lets us interact with Gemini. We can use Gemini CLI and the Firebase init command to additionally add in Firebase AI logic on our behalf, giving us the Gemini chat feature specified. Just by running Firebase init, I am guided through the process of picking what feature to implement. In this case, AI logic. Then I get to pick the AI generation method. And finally, the Gemini CLI gives me final say on the implementation plan. Here, I can change things if needed. I'm pretty happy with this plan, so I'll accept it. Now that we have that chat feature added, I want to secure it myself. I want to consult with Gemini to get some best practices, but the Gemini CLI may not be grounded in the latest from the Firebase documentation. Fortunately, I can use the slash command Firebase consult. What the Firebase consult command does is it reaches out to the Gemini and Firebase integration, which is an AI agent that lives on Google servers and has been grounded on the Firebase docs. This lets it provide more up-to-date answers than what Gemini has in its original training data set. With that consultation complete and me making the changes off camera, our new chat app is nearly done. The final step is to get this deployed to production and acquire users. From the Gemini CLI, we will run slash Firebase deploy. This will inspect the application and determine whether it should be statically hosted or deployed to Firebase app hosting. Once that determination is complete, it will go through the deployment process to have the app running in production. Let's take a look at that app now. Looks pretty good and has Firestore authentication and Firebase AI logic integrated. As you can see, having the Gemini CLI with the Firebase extension makes developing apps even easier with less context switching between environments. Tell us in the comments what you are using the Firebase extension on the Gemini CLI for. If you want to learn more about the Firebase extension, please see the documentation below. 
I am Noe, and I cannot wait to see what you build next.